agitation of the Yoruba people within Nigeria for an independent Yoruba nation seems to be going to its temporary end. As the arrowhead of the struggle, Professor Branji Akintoye is already being pressured to quit. Sahara Reporters has gathered. Akintoye, according to multiple sources, privy the happenings is considering an offer from the agent of the Nigerian government to be paid millions of naira to dump the struggle in a tactical way that many agitators may not suspect, including himself. A presidential spirit on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and a member of the Federal Executive Council is said to be coordinating the operations for the Buhari-led government, using some Yoruba groups as fronts to negotiate with Akintoye. The Nigerian government wants to kill the brand of Lena Omo Odua worldwide, just the way the defunct Yoruba World Congress under Akintoye was killed before Lena Omo Odua was betted, one of the sources said. The Lena Omo Odua is targeted for dissolution, disorganization, and destruction unknowing to Akintoye because of the suit currently being spearheaded by the organization at the Federal High Court in Oshobo, Oshun State, and Adoikiti, Ikiti State, challenging the validity of 1999 constitution, which the group, through its lawyer, argued was enacted by the military government without a referendum. Another reason, the Nigerian government is targeting Dina Omo Udua, according to the source, is that the brand is considered as too respected by the Yoruba people worldwide. The diplomatic corps, the foreign media, and the foreign government all over the world, aside from Afena Ferry, the only group that the world institutions recognize as the voice of the Yoruba people is Lena Omo Odua worldwide. So the government wants to scatter the group from the top so that the agitation for Yoruba nation and the suit in Adoikiti, Shobo, can be contained. Speaking further, another source prevailed to the plans of the Nigerian government said, Akin Toye, in a naive way, is considering the offer tabled before him by the government's representatives. The 500 million naira was not tabled as direct bribe before Akin Toye. It was tabled indirectly. It was offered advice by some Yoruba groups to quit as the leader of Lena Omo Odua worldwide and became, become the father of all Yoruba groups. And Akin Toye considered it as an elevation of its status. It started in 2021 when the Yoruba Self-Determination Movement was formed. But akin to your faith to get the support of the close allies then. Another set of Yoruba group have been mobilized to mount pressure on akin to you again. This time, with a tempting offer, the Nigerian government believes that Afina Fere has lost its bite, lost touch with the grassroots, and lost confidence of the teeming mass in masses in the Yoruba land and the APIS organization the masses see and adore at the moment to be championing their interest is Lena Omo Udua under Banji Akintoye. Banji Akintoye has been told that he will head the Yoruba National Front worldwide. The 500 million naira has been made available to be deposited into the account. But there is another strategy brought, being put in place by the anti-Yoruba nation element pushing Akintoye into infamy to ensure that he won't even get the money to spend after deceiving him to dumb the structure that brought him into the limelight. Again, since leaving the political space in 1983, I am surprised that Akintoye could be that naive. You can never be the father of everyone, even when we had Yoruba World Congress. Not everyone subscribed to its leadership. We had Yoruba Summit Group then 
not everyone subscribed to the leadership of Awolowo during his reign. Some people don't even believe that God exists. You can never be loved and accepted by everyone. Not everyone would subscribe to the leadership of Akintoye and Lina Omo Odua, but one thing is certain, that Lina Omo Odua is the Apex Yoruba Self-Determination Movement. That is the organization, the Fulani, the Igbo, Ijo, the diplomats, the foreign governments follow on self-determination in Yoruba land. Accepting the proposal of those Yoruba groups, energized and oiled by an APC presidential aspirant serving the interests of the Fulani Caliphate, is unbecoming of a well-respected Akintoye. But I doubt if he can even have the courage to say his choice to the teaming members of Lina Omo Odua worldwide. This is going to ruin him completely because this is a case of betrayal of trust of the Yoruba people, the source said. When contacted, Maswe Adelehi, communication manager to Akintoye said he wasn't aware of any meeting or new group, he said. Baba naturally is a father of her and is not materialistic. Baba is 87. Okay, he said. So guys, what's your take on signing this? I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.